bailar, vamos a bailar. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Me Eric here. And if you are new, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. Y'all don't understand how much I've missed you all. Every week I plan to make a video for YouTube, but then something comes up that takes me away from my channel. And y'all know YouTube is my baby, but it's been a lot going on. And it's hard for me to juggle trying to perform well on every platform. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Oh, and then a lot of it, I'm editing myself and creating the content. So it's been a challenge. So you all, please be patient with me. I'm going to get there. I haven't been completely in my A because I have been on shorts. And y'all let me know what y'all think about my ASMR videos. Those are so fun for me. And I just feel like taking the aspect of music out just helps me so much more because finding good quality, morally sound music on social media is just so challenging i feel like everything is ratchet nowadays so that's why i use that approach using the asmr where you don't have to talk you don't have to make well you make sounds but <laughs> you don't necessarily have to talk you don't have to worry about music and some people find that really therapeutic it's actually been so great for me i actually have a lot of fun with those videos so let me know if you all have been enjoying my shorts if you want to see more what you want to see in shorts and also long form videos what type of videos would you all like to see i'm still getting things together with the house and i'm trying my best to show you guys different rooms at a time versus shelling out everything at once because everything isn't even ready yet i will do a full furnished house tour when the home is ready but it's not fully furnished yet there are rooms that are getting there but not quite there yet just like the closet but i do want to show you all the closets today so now the closet is not completely finished but it's at the point where i can actually show it to you all because i want to start actually putting things in it and i'm not able to until i do my empty closet tour so i said i need to get on that at least this week so that i can show you all that and i can begin organizing my home and as you all see behind me our doors have been taken off <laughs> so you can kind of see in there i have a lot of my clothes just in the game room on the floor area i've been trying to clean and organize the bottom level so the second floor looks i'm just gonna say it, it looks crazy like it looks so crazy so disorganized but i felt like i needed to get this closet tour up so that i can start putting things in the closet so we can get things together upstairs as well. So I'm gonna show you all the closet in a minute and I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but your girl has been losing some weight. I had to announce that to you guys. I've just been feeling so much better about myself. I actually started working back with my old trainer from Houston. I don't know if you all remember her or not, but her name is Coach VK and she is absolutely phenomenal. Seriously? Seriously, the lighting wants to do that. Y'all, this time of day, natural lighting is so unpredictable. So I'm hoping I'm able to show you all everything before the sun goes down and the lighting starts acting crazy. But yeah, so I started working out with Coach VK. We're not doing in-person training because she's actually still located in Houston. I wish she would move to Dallas because she already started to get me snatched. I've lost like seven pounds already since the start of the year. And I feel like if she was here, y'all it would be game over but i've been feeling so much better about myself we actually do our training sessions virtually and i'll leave her information because i think she actually offers virtual training now i love her spirit how encouraging she is she's just awesome but yeah also this hair i've been getting a lot of questions i actually did a video on this hair about three or four months ago I believe it's from Y wigs it's in like 18 it's actually like a bang unit but what I did is I just kind of swept the bangs over to the left side and fluffed it I didn't wash it or anything still because I like how stiff it looked and also the definition right out of the package I told y'all this lighting is oh come on all right I tried shedding one of the blinds okay that should be better I hope Y'all, I want to get a video up for y'all today, so cooperate, son. <laughs> but yeah, so this unit is, it's a Y Wigs unit. I think the name of it is called Amber. I'll be sure to link the unit down below for you all. It is so good, y'all. It's so good. I literally just lay my edges and just put it on in the morning. You can fluff it out, do whatever, but it's so easy. And the shape and everything is just, oh. 
God. I was just going through my stash the other day and I came across this one. I was like, oh, let me see what I can do with it. And she is doing it. She is really just everything. She is the moment. She is the moment. I've been getting so many compliments on this hair and people think it's mine, but it's not. It's not, but it looks so natural. But enough of that, y'all. Let's get into this closet reveal. This video is not going to be super long. I just want to show you guys what the closet looks like. I'm not going to actually put anything in it today because the sun is going down. The lighting is not great. And I hope I'm able to complete this video today. If not, I'm going to have to record another day. But I'm hoping I can show you all today so that I can get it up by Friday. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so let's get to it. I feel like I talked a whole lot. But I just miss y'all so much. Let's get to it, y'all. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to take you guys to the closet. We're going to bypass all the junk in the game room. I might show y'all a little bit because we we family. So I can... Not too much, though, because it, it just looks a mess. It looks so bad. I wish Jabra was here so he could help me record. That's the thing, too. I don't have anybody to help me today. But this was the only day that I had available to be able to do a video for you guys. All right, y'all, now for the moment you've been waiting for or the moment I've been waiting for, I could not wait to show you all my custom closet. I have wanted a custom closet forever and I cannot believe that this one is mine. It looks so good. Everything turned out so perfectly it looks amazing so i'm showing you all what it looks like now without lights now we're going to turn the lights on and the contractors that i hired actually set up the lights behind the cabinet so it's tucked away and it's nicely conveniently placed so now with the lights on y'all it looks like a boutique this is the cutest most affordable boutique closet ever. So as you all know by now, I did decide to build my dream closet using the Ikea pack system. I was gonna actually go the route of using a Dallas-based custom closet company, but when they told me the price at the start of the year, I was like, no ma'am, I'm not paying $28,000 for a closet. It did not make sense. So I immediately went to Ikea to see if everything was available and if I could even do it that way. So I started with the PAX planning tool and I'd highly recommend starting here. You can go online and design it from scratch or you could actually go into Ikea and have a designer help guide you through the process of building your closet. Now on the website, you'll see different sizes for your frames. In terms of height, I went with 92 inches for all of my frames because my ceilings are quite tall. It's a good idea to start by measuring your space to determine how many frames you need, what type of interiors you need. Also maybe take inventory of your clothing, which is what I actually did with the custom closet company. And this really helped to save me a lot of time when I went into Ikea to plan my closet design. On the Ikea website, there's so many ideas for things that you can do with your closet. There are a variety of different cabinet designs. You can add doors, you can add different interiors. There are just so many ideas. But in order to guide you, I'd recommend not only going in to have a designer help with that process, but also go in store so that you can see closet wardrobes already fully designed so that you can get inspiration as to how yours can be structured and all the bells and whistles that Ikea has to offer. So that's what I did and it helped me tremendously. And y'all, my closet, including Instagram, installation I believe it was around like eight to ten thousand dollars which is so much less than I would have paid a custom closet company and I would not have had all of these different design features like doors and mirrors and all that stuff and all the little accents that you all see are things I already have from my old apartment this ottoman I believe is from home goods all right so now I'm going to give you all a full tour of the space and how I plan to use everything so just as you enter the space this is what it looks like I did order an island in December but it has not arrived yet so that will be in the center of this area. I believe it's scheduled to be shipped out next week. On this wall is where I'll be hanging many of my short hanging items. At the bottom, I'll be hanging jeans and pants, and then I'll fold up some items in those drawers. This is what the pullout bar looks like for the jeans. And I was told that it's better to get a standard rod versus this bar because you can't hang as many jeans as you would if you were using a rod and hanging them on hangers. But I chose to go this route mostly for aesthetics, but it is functional too. Just can't add as many as you would be able to with the rod. And 
at the top, in order to maximize storage, I decided to buy these storage bins on Amazon and they are gonna be so handy. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in those just yet, but I know they're gonna be so beneficial. I'm taking one down now to show you all what the structure looks like. These are collapsible. They came in a set of five and I believe they're around $64. They're very sturdy and I love that you can actually break them down easily. There's this little cardboard feature at the bottom that allows you to be able to fold it if you take it out. Once you open it up, you can fit so much in here. I'll probably put my headbands. I can also put shirts if I desire to. There's so many different options for how to use these. My goal for my closet wardrobe is to be able to maximize all of this space and be able to ensure that I have as much storage as possible. So these bins came in handy for that reason. Another feature that I had to have were these mirrored doors. I wanna be able to use them to easily do try on hauls, also to be able to see myself as I'm picking out outfits. Also at the time when I purchased these, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to put my floor lit mirror from my apartment in this space. So I wanted to ensure that I had mirrors because that's necessary for a closet wardrobe. And the fashion girlies know this is a must have, but Gerard had this great idea to put the gray and mirror over on this side and it fit perfectly. I actually had the contractors install this and they did such a good job. I just realized I didn't show you all what's behind the mirrored doors. I believe this frame is 39 inches and my mirrored doors are 19 inches. Inside I plan to hang long hanging dresses. Right now I have a mix of both short hanging and long hanging. These are just some new items I got in and I just put them in there temporarily, but I will have long hanging dresses. And then at the bottom, I'm just gonna store some miscellaneous things. And I believe these doors were about $85 a piece. I feel like they're totally worth it. If you have it in the budget, I would definitely add these doors. My lights are also from Ikea. Now these are wired, so I'd highly recommend getting contractors or a task rabbit to install these. These are not as easily installed as the ones on Amazon. And I'm not sure if you all have noticed, but there are a few frames that do not have lights just yet. That's because those frames were not a part of the original design. But once the contractors completed the first part of it, I realized that there was space to add more frames. And I wanted to make sure that I capitalized on all the space in this room. So I added additional frames. And for those frames, I will be adding battery operated lights from Amazon. I do also need to add an additional frame right here. I actually thought a tree or something decorative could go there and that would be fine originally, but I wanna make sure I can hang all of my bags and also put boots and things like that here. So I'm gonna add another frame. The contractors are gonna build that frame out, I believe next week. So I'm looking forward to how that's gonna turn out and that's gonna pretty much complete the design for the room. On these shelves, I plan to display my bags. So I bought these acrylic stand holders from Amazon. They came in a pack of six for about $22. I'm gonna show you all how it looks now with one of my bags displayed on it. I am gonna actually get additional organizers so that I can have some bags Bags that are hung higher than others because as I shared with you all earlier I want to maximize storage so I want to fill up each compartment for each of the shelves another thing that I want to point out that I got from Amazon are these drawer organizers they come in a variety of different colors but I selected gray for mine I felt like these were perfect for the Ikea complement glass front drawers these drawers are more aesthetically pleasing however in terms of keeping things organized and making sure that it looks nice once you actually have them installed and you have all your clothes in there can be a bit of a challenge Challenge. So adding the organizers actually make the outside look so much better than if you were to just shove clothes in there or if you even fold them in there. I feel like it still doesn't look as great. So I decided to use these. So that the front face of the glass drawer doesn't look bad even if the things in each compartment aren't organized as nicely. And what I like about this pack that I purchased is that it comes with a set of 12. So they're different sizes and shapes. So you can kind of play around with it to see what best matches or suits the type of organization that you want want inside each drawer for yourself. You can even stack them on top of each other, which is pretty cool. So I'm just showing you all how to actually install them, put them in the drawers, different ways that you can structure them once they're inside the drawer. Some compartments are smaller, which can be used for socks. Others can be used for bras. You can put t-shirts in there. You can even probably put jeans. There are so many different ways that you can use these. Also keep in mind that on one side, there is a line across the front, but if you rotate it like you see me doing here, then you won't see that line and it just looks so much better. Now, many of the items that I purchased from Ikea, they arrived and they were in good condition, but there were some that were not. So let me just get to the benefit of having the closet, which is affordable, but some items might come damaged. So as you all can see here, I have one of my handles not installed and that's because this particular glass door came damaged. This is what the wood looks like at the top. My contractor noticed this after installing it and I was like, oh my goodness. I had really 
hope for complete success with all the items that I purchased, nothing damaged or anything, but I am gonna have to return those. But the cool thing about Ikea returns is that they return open products within 180 days and 365 days for products that's been open. So I'll have plenty of time. Hopefully within that time frame, the Tisdale door is available so that I can correct that issue on that one. In these smaller frames at the bottom, I'm planning to put shoes. These are just shoe pullout trays. So I'm just showing you all what those look like. On the other side, I wanna show you all what my jewelry organizers will look like. So at the top of many of the drawers, I decided to include jewelry organizers and also some with belt organizers, others that are gonna be used for sunglasses. And they have a a variety of different ways that you can organize your things and by the way I didn't have any issues with the Tisdale doors on this side so those are installed properly now moving over to the other side you can see that I have more organizers at the top I also decided to do more shoe pullouts but I decided to add the gray inserts on these these do cost a bit more so I didn't decide to do these on all of my shoe pullout trays but I did do it on this particular section I'm going to show you all now how the shoes look on these inserts I feel like they look so cute and just really add that boutique feel these trays were 30 dollars each and they hold four pair of shoes and I just love the way it looks. Here's another decorative piece from my studio in my old apartment. In the past this is where I would put makeup brushes but I'm thinking about putting perfume in here and then these are some other objects. I may remove these because I want to actually put shoes on these shelves so We'll see, but I like the way it looks currently, but they're pretty much just aesthetically pleasing right now and not necessarily functional, but I'm gonna play around with it. And this is pretty much the closet tour. All right, y'all, I hope that you all enjoyed this closet reveal. It turned out so well. I cannot wait to see how everything comes together once we have the chandelier here and also the island in this area right here. But overall, I am in love with just everything, the price point, the design, everything came together so perfectly. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I had to do a voiceover for this part, but I didn't have anybody to help me <laughs> record. And the sun is going down, so I won't have time to get through everything talking face to camera. So I just decided to do a voiceover. But also be sure to check the description box. I'll try to link everything down there that I use in my closet. I love you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.